Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It's me, Yasa. This is going to be your June 2022 monthly. This is general, so love, money, career, finances, family may come out. And only take the messages that resonate. Check the description box. There's some helpful information there on how to book a personal reading with me. You can follow me on all of my social media. You can um, leave a love donation as well. A lot of helpful information in the description box, okay? Also, check the comment section. There's going to be pricing on the types of readings that I offer. Also, you can email me for inquiries, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within this world. Can you say, please give me clear on this message for Leo. What messages do you have for Leo for the month of June 2022? Leo, a free way to support me and our channel is to like this video you can leave a nice comment you can subscribe as well hit that notification bell liking this video really helps get this reading circulating and it helps other leos see this reading okay i'm a leo as well my birthday is august 8th i'm a true leo okay <laughs> all right this is your general portion leo so we have discipline. You guys could be being more disciplined, more obedient. So I see you guys are really being responsible. If you set a schedule for yourself, a regimen for yourself, um, a diet plan, a workout plan for yourself, I see you guys being more disciplined. It says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Okay, we have change because you want to change in your life, Leo. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You're trying to get things moving, get things changing, get that will turn so you can experience your manifestation so this abundance can shower on you. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Yeah, so you're being disciplined in what you want to manifest. You're being intentional as well. So you're eating right, you're sleeping right. You're hanging with the right people, cutting off the people who you don't need in your life, okay? Overall energy, blame. You're not blaming anybody else anymore for anything ever, okay? You're like, you know what? I'm going to be in control of my life. I'm in control and responsible for my happiness. That's what it says. I accept responsibility for my own well-being. So you're like... I'm not waiting around for a motherfucker to make me happy. I'm not waiting around because I know you guys want to go outside, Leo. I know you guys might want to hang out with your friends. Some of you may be wishing you had more friends. Some of you may be wishing you hadn't cut off those people or wishing you did this or did that. And you're like, you know what? I'm not going to blame anything else. I'm not. I'm just not going to live in the frequency of blaming anymore. I take responsibility for my own well-being and I'm going to accomplish what I set my mind to. I'm going to be outside regardless of who's outside with me or not. I want this will to turn. I want change in my life and you know that nothing can grow or evolve without movement and you're going to be receiving an abundance of whatever it is you're manifesting, okay? So that's the general energy surrounding you. Let's take a look at love. going on in love for Leo June 2022 this is for Leo spirit what's going on for Leo in regards to their love life for the month of June y'all got deception I've tried shuffling this so hard to not see this damn card no more but shit someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship Leo and you really have to pay attention, use your intuition. Okay, you are calling in your soulmate. So the type of people you call in, you call in whatever energy and frequency your ass is on. You in the frequency of reconciliation? This reconciliation came out in the all signs reading that I did for y'all as well. So what is going on? You could be deceiving yourself, Leo. You think you're calling in your soulmate, but you're calling in your ex? What is this? Clarify deception. Let your friends help you. So some of y'all may not have some real true friends. But if you if you know for a fact this is your true and genuine friend, the deception is you're not listening. Okay? <laughs> you're not listening. Clarify reconciliation for Leo. Finances and career. And it is safe for you to love. So I feel like financial issues are factors factor in your love life so this reconciliation may be um what i'm getting is this past person is your safety net they're your safety net you're too afraid to um 
Yeah, release your extroverts. They're your safety net. Some of you may be too afraid to let they ass go. Clarify deception and let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. Codependency. Yeah, okay. So someone is codependent. So, so I'm wondering if it's either you or this person who's codependent. There's some type of addictions that's affecting your romantic life. So maybe you feel like, for some reason, Leo, it's hard for you to make decisions. Sometimes you wish people could just make decisions for you. So I'm wondering if you're just wanting your friend to give you good advice it's like for some reason when it comes to making the decision when it's like right here and now make a decision now you're like what do i do and you're calling your friends asking them for help and things like that and it's like leo you got to be disciplined enough mature enough to be able to make these decisions on your own okay maybe you feel like i don't know maybe you feel like you need this this person's advice or you need this person's help you want somebody to hold your hand when it comes to making decisions about this relationship or in regard to your love life or something like that clarify calling in your soulmate for leo we have flirt and it is safe for you to love that can't it's safe for you to love came out reverse and then you have flirt so i'm feeling like and then finances and career still came out so i'm feeling like leo um if you're manifesting someone or something, be balanced. Because if you're manifesting out of imbalance, this person is going to come to you imbalanced, okay? I saw I'm getting some of you could have a friend that is like super smothering. They're super codependent on you. They smother you. They want you all to themselves. They don't like you hanging out with other people or they always want you to listen to them and only them, only listen to what they have to say. And Leo is like, oh, I don't really want to listen to you. <laughs> you want to flirt, you want to have fun, okay? But I do see finances and career. Don't ignore your money. Don't ignore your finances and your career and things like that, okay? So I see reconciliation could be on the table. You're calling in your soulmate. Clarify calling in your soulmate. That was too much. That's, look at all of this. True love, keep an open mind. Very soon reverse and then express your love. So you haven't clearly decided on what you wanted yet, Leo. So if you don't really know what you want, this person is going to come to you not really knowing what they want either. This could be the deception and the codependency coming in. And you not really knowing what you want could manifest old people from the past. Okay? We do have true love. Keep an open mind. Regardless, family, very soon is in reverse, but it still came out regardless. And then we have express your love, okay? Let's get some messages from the tarot. Oh, yeah, I've seen a lot of water energy, so you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but there's a lot of water. A lot of you could have water in your chart. The person you could be dealing with could have water in their chart, but I'm seeing a lot of emotion, a lot of water in your pre-shuffle. Just a lot of water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Okay, this is for Leo. Some of you could be pregnant, getting pregnant, or dealing with a Libra. All right, this is for Leo. What messages do you have for Leo? The Emperor. Okay, we saw the Empress. Okay. Whoa, shit. Look at that. Did y'all see that? Look. She still came back out. I know that's fucking right. Leo. Leo. Yes, you did. Yes, you did manifest the soulmate connection the divine connection divine counterparts the emperor and the empress yes you did oh my gosh i feel like some of you willed it to come out because i'm like we just seen the empress 
Like, I want the Empress to come back out again. And she did. She flew out, too. She jumped all the way over here. Okay? So, Leo, I'm proud of you because I do see that you are being you are being more disciplined. You are taking back control of your life. And you're not worried about waiting on people to make decisions for you. Clarify the Emperor for Leo. Three of Swords. You've been heartbroken. Nine of Swords. So, why is this emperor heartbroken and sad? This could be the deception. Remember, we saw a deception coming out. So, someone is heartbroken over you, Leo. Clarify this emperor, this emperor, three of swords, and nine of swords. Ten of Swords. Okay, so there was a breakup, an ending, separation. There's somebody who never got over you. I guess somebody misses you. If this is a new person, this person has been through a lot. They've been through a lot, a lot. With the Eight of Swords. Y'all really want to do this reconciliation shit, don't y'all? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, Leo, I'm going to be nice. Yeah, reconciliation. Yeah, y'all do. Don't tell me you don't because you do. Okay. Someone is hard. So this is, I'm going to read it in two ways. For some of you, you do want to reconcile. This is your divine counterpart. They miss you. They're heartbroken over you. I feel like some of you feminine need to know how heartbroken the masculine is. The three of swords, this person is in constant agony, sleepless nights, depression, this person ain't been done right since you left them. It's like they can't, they won't be right until they be with you again. Okay? Others of you, this new person, because we saw new love, you're cutting out the past with the Queen of Swords. You're cutting, you're cutting this cord, this connection, cutting off the Six of Cups, cutting off the past. And you're moving forward with the Six of Swords. You're done. Okay, a lot of you do want new love. I do see that for some of you, this new love coming into your life, they could have been through a lot of things and they need they need to heal. And this may be what took so damn long for you to finally meet this new person, your soulmate, the person you're supposed to be with. As much shit you've been through, I feel like they've been through it as well. Because I know some of you, I hear you, Leo. What's taking them so fucking long? Shit. Clarify the Empress for Leo. A lot of you feminines decided to let things go. You feel like you can't really see a way forward, so I feel like you're just going to throw your hands up. Some of you may have some closure issues. I'm getting this is the past energy. You have a closure issue with this person from the past. You're still stuck on them, constantly thinking about them, wanting a new cycle with them. This cycle isn't closed all the way. Then we have the King of Swords right here, meeting the Queen of Swords. Okay, These, this is two divorced people. Give me one more on the Empress. Okay. I feel like this is where this discipline is coming out. You need discipline, Leo. You you have to take responsibility for your own well-being. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're starting to work on yourself and love yourself. Ace of Cups. You have new love. You have two people coming in. Look at that. The Knight of Cups. I told you I've seen a lot of water in your energy. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups. A lot of water in your energy, Leo. So, Leo, you could be this emperor. And you could be heartbroken. And this could be your person. A lot of water in their chart. They need to fix some things and heal some things within themselves. I do see them manifesting you back, though. They want a new start, a new beginning. Others of you, others of you, Leo, you could be the empress, the feminine energy. Loving yourself, nurturing yourself. Like I said, um, being disciplined. Doing what you set your mind to do, Eight of Pentacles. 
this is what you want to do. You set your mind to do it. Clarify the Ace of Wands. The Fool. A new beginning. A leap of faith. The Lovers. Oh my gosh. Oh, Y'all, look at this shit. This is not real right now. This is not real. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? The king and queen of wands. Right back to back. Look at this. The reading's over, Leo. No matter no matter where you try to go, no matter how you look at it, upside down, flip it, reverse it, all of that shit, you got your counterpart right here. The king and queen of swords. The king and queen of wands. The emperor and the empress. Like, you're destined to be with this person destined we got the ace of wands a new beginning a new leap of faith a new connection right here Shit. clarify the six of swords i saw the king and queen of cups too now if they come out y'all know what the deal is here you go leo some of you don't want anybody from the past the nine of wands keep coming coming out some of you you can't be afraid of to love especially new love See the King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Some of you have really given up on love. Yeah. And you're focused, you're focusing on your stability. You are. Some of you have given up on love. But clarify the Six of Swords because it seems like you're just moving on, moving forward, holding back. There she go. Queen of Cups. I knew it would come out. I don't care what, what any of y'all got to say. I knew she was going to come out. If I see her, I'm pulling her out. And I've seen her. Okay? So listen, Leo. We have all, except the King and Queen of Pentacles. Almost all of the matches have came out King and Queen of Cups. So I feel like you're meeting your match, Leo. If you don't meet them in June, I feel like closer to your birthday, like July and August. But what I'm seeing is with this Six of Swords, you're moving forward into calmer waters, okay? Remember, we had change. You want this change. So I feel like if a lot of you may not want to get in a relationship until this change has happened in your life until you um, get to the goal weight that you're trying to get to, until you get financially stable like you're trying to get to. No pinnacles have came out, only the eight of pinnacles and the five of pinnacles. So I don't know what's going on with your money. Remember, we saw finances and career and the seven of pinnacles. These aren't like super abundant cards. Remember, we had finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. So maybe you're not going to... Um, Get in a relationship until your money's together. Whatever it is, whatever change that you're trying to do, I feel like that's when you are going to make the decision to find love and be in love. Otherwise, you're going to hold back. But I see Spirit is presenting you with, with love. And if this isn't a person, this is a you in a relationship with a job. You in a relationship with a business partner. I see spirit, like, here's your divine counterpart. No matter how you look at it, the king and queen of cups, the king and queen of wands, the king and queen of swords, okay? The king and queen of pentacles didn't come out, so maybe both of you are working on your money. All right? Then we have the emperor and the empress coming out. So you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Everyone came out in the major, I mean, in the minor arcana. Every sign has came out. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But with the majors, you could be dealing with another Leo, a Gemini, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius. A soft Scorpio, too. You could be dealing with a Libra or an Aries. All right, we do have the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning coming out for you, Leo. Yeah, I told you I saw Scorpio. You don't see it coming. You don't see it coming. Okay, big change. Yep, Taurus right there. Y'all are destined to be in a relationship, a connection with this person. Angels, what messages do you have for Leo? Hmm. 
June 2022. Angels and ancestors. We have success. Maybe you're not worried about money. You know money's coming, but you will be successful. And we saw abundance too. Yeah. We have success and abundance. Okay. Big happy changes coming in for you too, Leo. Big happy changes coming in for everybody in June. Angels, what messages do you have for Leo? June. Within the next few months, Leo. So this change that you wanted to come is coming within the next few months. So I told you probably July or August, closer to your birthday. Anything else? The situation will improve, Leo. So don't worry about it. Forgive, move on. Start working on yourself, loving yourself. This is all I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me. Like this video, get it circulating. YouTube has been acting funny. So yeah, please help your girl out. Check the description box. Until I see you all again, check out all of the all signs readings. Um, and then if, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can email me. Check the comment section for the types of readings that I do. Email me for inquiries. You can follow me on all my social media. I love you guys. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.